Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass. I've been using the Google Pixel 5 since the day that it came out, which means that at my fingertips I've always had the newest version of Android ready to go, including the Android 12 beta. Now I've actually been using this since the very first beta and we're now on version 5 and there's a lot to talk about, but I'm going to be focusing on the material you theming options that come along with Android 12. Now yes it may seem very simple, you change your wallpaper and you get some different colours across the UI, but it goes a little bit deeper than that and there's some really awesome features that come along with that that we're going to be looking at today. I'm going to be talking about the good, the bad and also what I think can be improved and also what I'd like to see them implement moving forward. Let's take a look. Okay guys, so for the longest time now you've had two different options with Android. You've had a light mode and a dark mode. Now in most cases with a Pixel device, and yes it may differ depending on the device you're on, you have a white background with some blue UI elements. So if you go into the application drawer and you scroll around you've got a blue scroll bar, and then if you swipe down you've got some blue peel shapes as you can see here, and just pretty much any UI element is going to be that blue and white finish that you're used to. If you switch over to dark mode it doesn't actually go proper black, it's more of a really dark grey again with those blue UI elements and that's pretty much always been the way with stock Android. Now with some other versions of Android maybe something like on a OnePlus device you can actually change the theming options and change up some of the colours and the look and feel of the actual OS however with a Google Pixel device you've never really been able to do that until now. Now this also couldn't be simpler to do with Android 12. You simply change your wallpaper and then all of the UI elements basically pick up a slight colour palette from your wallpaper and then apply it across the actual UI. Now this doesn't just apply for the lock screen clock and also some you know app draw elements and also the Google page on the left hand side but it can also change entire applications like the calculator app where everything changes and picks up colors from the wallpaper. And this is where the good stuff of material you actually starts. It's very simple to do. All you do change your wallpaper and then all the UI elements change. Now you do have some options in regards to slightly changing the color palette, switching back to the original color palette, going to dark mode, light mode and also another beta option in regards to theming the Google icons and again what it will then do is change your applications that are made by Google apart from YouTube Studio for some reason and then actually theme it to match the wallpaper and again very quick very seamless and super easy to do. And I think this is great for anyone that wants to theme their device without having to worry about tinkering around with launches and icon packs and just some other customization features that your average user may not use. I think the reason for this is basically Google are trying to kind of tap into that more iPhone market of just using your device and not having to worry about changing too much and this basically just changes it for you. Now this is something that beforehand you may have had to install something like Nova Launcher in regards to changing some of the UI elements and some of the colors and also then installing an icon pack to change some of the icons. Now don't get me wrong it doesn't theme everything but again we'll get onto that in just a moment. But overall it's a very simple way to get a really nice look and feel across your device. Now like I mentioned it does also change things like the calculator and again all of the colors within the calculator are then going to change to match the UI elements of your wallpaper. So again this is going across the whole system. Eventually when Android 12 officially launches I'm pretty sure this is going to go into every Google app that you may have. So if that's YouTube, Gmail, Google Keep, Google Drive, everything's going to be affected by your wallpaper and I think that's actually pretty cool. Now another good point is it does a really good job at picking out some of the color tones from your wallpaper. Now I said the word tone and not just plain color because again we'll get onto that when we get to the bad. But overall if you've got a lot of green in your wallpaper, a lot of red in your wallpaper, you're going to see one of those tones within the options that you're going to have here. So again whether that's the clock on the lock screen or something in the app drawer or even the calculator like I mentioned, it's all going to switch over and again it is going to pick up some some tones from your wallpaper. But now onto the not so great stuff and sticking with the color options that you have, I would really like to see there to be more bright, vibrant options. Now obviously Material U is going to be dropping onto some other Android devices, again whenever they're going to get Android 12, and I think that something like a Samsung version of Android 12 is going to have those more bright, vibrant colors, again with that OLED screen that really pop and just basically change it a little bit more. Yes it is nice to have some of the UI elements from your wallpaper and again have some of those colors change, but everything's a very pastel color and very muted. I would like there to be maybe an option to have a vibrancy mode or maybe a desaturated mode. So again, just to add a little bit more in terms of customization. It's really good to see that they're adding some color options and again, some theming options within the base version of Android. I just wish that there was a little bit more in regards to the actual colors that you're picking and how you would pick them. 
and that's kind of like what you see on a OnePlus device. On a OnePlus, you can basically change the UI elements and change individual colors of certain things. So again, whether that's something that may come later down the line with Android, I'm not too sure, but I definitely think this is something that they can build on moving forward, whether that's in, you know, more versions of Android 12 or waiting until Android 13 for a bigger change. I really think that theming and customization is something that Google should really stick with. And again, it sets it apart from the competition. The way that you actually install custom icons on an iPhone, for example, which yes, is a new feature, is super complicated to do and not everybody wants to do it. Whereas if there was an option for it to do it automatically, I think that's a really good selling point to just customize your phone and make it a little bit more, well, material you. Now, another option that I would really like them to see is for this to go across your Google account instead of just your device. It'd be really awesome if I logged onto Google Chrome, for example, and when I was scrolling around through maybe Gmail or Google Drive or YouTube, to have these same material you colors on my Android device on my PC or go on better and pick up some colors from my wallpaper on my current desktop, and then again, apply that to Chrome. Now, don't get me wrong, this may be something that comes later down the line with a Chromebook, for example, but I primarily use an iMac and Windows, so again, to have that feature, I'm not really sure how they would go about it though, but to have that feature would be really awesome, and again, just kind of add that little bit more customization to Chrome. Now, yes, you can pick themes at the moment, but to have it across every device that you currently use where you're logged into a Google account would be really awesome to see. So overall, I am a massive fan of what Google is doing with Android 12 and material design. Now, there may be some slight changes to this when the actual official version of Android 12 comes out, which we're expected to be in around late October, I would say. But for now, running it on the beta of the, I think it's version 5 that I'm using at the moment, it seems to actually work perfectly fine. Now, they do also say not to install the Android 12 beta on your main device, but I've been doing that since the very first one, and they've been extremely stable. Yes, there's been some bug in maybe some UI elements that I've had to report in the feedback tool, but overall it's been a really great experience using the latest version of Android. Now I'm gonna do a full review on Android 12 when that drops, so if there's anything you guys want to know about or any feature that you've seen online that you want me to speak more about, let me know about it in the comments down below. But for me, I think Material U is one of the main features of Android 12, and I think it's a really great option to have. Now I'm not sure if it's gonna be any different on the Google Pixel 6 and 6 Pro when they release, but I think in terms of the way that it actually works and functions, it's pretty much going to be the same. Again, I'm gonna have links to everything in that description down below, so if you guys wanna try the Android 12 beta for yourself, then it's gonna be linked in that description. However, if you do wanna wait, like I say, maybe about a month or so, you will be able to get the full version of Android 12, and that's gonna be released, like I say, maybe later towards the end of October. And that's gonna do it guys for this video. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. That really helps the YouTube algorithm. And if you guys have any questions, comments, or I just wanna hear your thoughts on Material U in that comment section down below, or on Twitter at Copper versus Glass. Also, if you guys wanna share what your Material U setup currently looks like, then again, you can tag me on Twitter and I can respond and have a look at any of your guys' designs. If you're not already subscribed, now's a great time to do so. And once you hit that subscribe button, don't forget to turn on notifications so you're notified anytime I post a new video here on the channel. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass, thanks very much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.